Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on beta function type 1. But in type 1, we are going to use the formula of beta as beta of m comma n equal to integration of 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 into 1 minus x the whole raised to n minus 1 into dx. Okay, so we are going to use this formula and we have to reduce the given equation in this form so that we can apply the properties of beta m m comma n so this is our question so in this question if you see we have integration limit from 0 to 2a but we want integration limit from 0 to 1 and here if you see here we have 1 minus x and here we have 2a minus x square so we have to make this term 1 minus x the whole raised to something so our i will be integration 0 to 2a x square we can write this term as 2ax minus x square the whole raised to half into dx we instead of 2ax minus x square we need here 1 minus x term that is 1 minus some way single variable so what we are going to do if we substitute x square let's say we substitute x square equal to 2ax into other variable so if we substitute x square equal to 2ax into t then we get 2ax minus x square x square is 2ax into t the whole raised to half then from this two equation if you see we can take 2ax common we will get 2ax the whole raised to half into 1 minus t the whole raised to half so if you see by putting this term equal to this term into some constant we will get the term of 1 minus t which matches with 1 minus x so that's why we need to put this x square equal to 2ax into other variable t okay so our 1x will get cancelled from here we get x equal to 2a into t and now if we take the derivative of this term we get 2x equal to 2a is constant into dt since we are changing the variable our limits of integration will also get changed here the initial variable is x and the new variable is t x is going from 0 to 2a when we put x equal to 0 in this equation we get t also equal to 0 when we put x equal to 2a here we get 2a equal to 2a into t 2a 2a will get cancelled we get t equal to 1 so now if you see our limits of integration are also from 0 to 1 which matches with this equation so our new integration will be integration of 0 to 1 x square x we are substituting it as 2a t the whole square into this term we have calculated as this which is 2ax the whole raised to half into 1 minus t the whole raised to half into dx what is dx dx is 2a dt now if you see here we have x term and we are putting x equal to 2a t so this x will be 2a into t so this term will become 4a square into t the whole raised to half and all the terms will remain as it is so we get integration of 0 to 1 2 a t the whole square will be 4 a square into t square into 4 a square t the whole raised to half is nothing but root of this term so root of 4 is 2 root of a square is a and root of t is t raised to half into 1 minus t the whole raised to half into 2 a dt now we will combine all the t term together all the a term together and all the constant together so we have 4 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 4 into 2 is 8 and 8 into 2 is 16 which is constant so we can take it out of the integration sign integration of 0 to 1 here we have t square here we have t raised to half so t square into t raised to half is nothing but t raised to 2 plus half which will be equal to t raised to 5 by 2 so we have t raised to 5 by 2 then we have 1 minus t raised to half then a a square into a is a cube and this a will be a raised to 4 a raised to 4 is constant so we can write with 16 a raised to 4 so this is our new integration 